You're live. <laughs> hey guys, it's Meme and my trusty sidekick. You choked. <laughs> Big old chicken. chicken. What's up, everybody? Old Vinny's here tonight. I'm glad to have you with us on Tuesday night. My sh sidekick shenanigans is on the other side, and we're glad to have her with us as well. Hope you're looking forward to a good show tonight. I am excited about this stash buster alert that's coming on tonight. If you're not familiar with my man made it, we have an online craft store where you can buy all the cool supplies that you see us use today. Um, in our show tonight, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to click that uh, subscribe button and hit that uh, alarm so you'll always get notified whenever May May Made It is going to be in your house. <laughs> we hope that you have a great time tonight. If you like what you see, be sure to give us a thumbs up. We really would appreciate it. May May, what's up? Did I chicken out? You yeah. chickened out Big so bad. Chicken. We're going to do Big a new intro. <laughs> And I chickened out. Big, and she's still chicken, y'all. Y'all, I was checking my mic and I decided a new way to check my mic is, are you ready to rumble? That's what I thought would be a chicken. That's and how she was supposed her. to start the show. That was but <laughs> she chickened out. So, y'all ready to rumble? Okay, let's go. How, can I just say it like I would say it? You ready to rumble? Um, so, tonight, guess what? Guess what? What? Just guess what? Guess what? 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 In classic May May fashion, <laughs> I did something and I liked it and I can't stop doing it. And therefore, you get to see it again, just in a different way. And so, for all you people that keep watching us, which I don't understand why you do, because I just keep doing the same thing over and over again, so you're nice. going to get to see a new one. Here's the thing it's not a folio. <laughs> Yeah. Where's, where's my my antifolios? Foliolers. Are we doing a quilt? Foliolers? Antifoliolers. Foliolers. Foliolers. Yeah. So it's not a folio. Don't stress. It is a quilt card. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And also, I'm not sorry. Because <laughs> two things. Number one, you guys are loving these. Now, I'm not saying you're loving mine. Let me tell you what you're loving. You are making them faster then I think Hallmark's making cards nowadays. I'm not even joking. Our Facebook group, if you're not a member of our Facebook group, why head over? May May made it and so did I. That's the group. You can head over and join it. Um, a quilted folio. <laughs> it's coming. I've already been thinking about it. But listen, you're making them so crazy. Like fast, fast, fast. Look, here's one, right? We did this one before. Um, I have not given Penny her cards yet. They're on my desk. I've not been to So Charming and that's sad. I can't believe how long it's been since I've been. It's been longer for me. But here's her cards what, that are ready to go to her. But tonight, okay, so here's the deal. You guys have been sending me, this is what I love. People are like, you should try to do this square. You should try to do this square. If you don't know, most quilt patterns come in a square. Some are circles, some are hexagon. But most of them are squares. And I've been given so many suggestions. But this one, actually was one that I wanted to do. Actually, this is the one I sat down to try to do first and I didn't do a good job of it. And I had to go look. There's actually people who, can I tell them, I did not invent this. Y'all know this, right? There is nothing new under the sun, okay? Quilt cards have been done on YouTube for 10 years. I've been seeing them everywhere. She said, it's been too long. Oh, it, it, Penny has, said. it has been too long and I'm sad or about Emily. it. Penny, did not you sure see what I made that. you? Is she here? She is. So Charming Quilt well, Shop so is here. Quilt is it Emily Just or Penny? Just not sure which one it is. Look, I made these for you Emily? so you can send me a card. <laughs> Look, like did that, you see Emily? them? They're for you. So anyway, they'll be coming soon. But what I'm telling y'all is, what was I telling y'all? Something. You didn't create these. Yeah, I didn't create these. They're all over the I internet, place. like all over the internet. So what's really cool is the one I wanted to do first, which is called a log cabin square, I think. I don't know. Remember, I'm not a pro. So Charming's here. They can correct me. I Googled log cabin. And that's it's a log cabin. cabin square. That's the one I wanted to do first, what but I could Log cabin. Log? A log. It's a log cabin. We'll make sure log. we was all on the same page. It's a log cabin, and this log. one's going to be light. Thanks, Penny. Love them. Yay. Hey, this one's going to be light. Log? A light log cabin. A light log. Y'all, we were at, I'm sorry, I just feel like talking. We were at Rest of Relics today. Surprise. And <laughs> I heard Missy say to Shannon, should I paint this white? And I looked at Brenda and I said, should it be white? 
she it said, should be white. She said, I think it should be white. <laughs> I said, a light white. <laughs> she said, definitely a light white. Or it should be a light bright white. We stood in that booth saying light white and bright for 20 minutes having too much fun. So <laughs> know that that's our accent. Okay, let me show you something. You're right. It is a log cabin. It's a log cabin. We're going to make this guy. Here's what you need to know. Anything we need to say before we get started? Because once I get started, I got to go. Because I got to say things. Go. Okay. Here's what you need to do. This piece of cardstock is bigger, okay, than where I want it to be at the end. I want it to end up being four by four. Why do I want it to be four by four? Because I want it to be this size so I can put a mat around it like we did last time. So I want it to end up at four by four. So I cut this to four and a half by four and a half. All right. You, all you need to do this is a one inch square. Okay. So I have cut from some cards. I better, let me show you all the cardstock. Oh my goodness. Okay. First off, this is a scrap buster project. Why? You need one, one inch square, and then you need some strips. Now the, the strips matter. Here's what matters. You need some strips that are in one color family and you need some strips that are in another color family. Okay, so what we did was we took colors from this square and got two different. So we, can you see we went, well, let me move these over here because you can't see. Surprise, surprise. We went with a coral and a green family. Okay, now listen, do you, okay, there are no rules in paper crafting and I don't think there's any rules in quilting, no hard, fast rules. I mean, there probably are, but we don't believe in hard and fast rules. So here's a color family, here's a color family. You should do this from your scraps. Why? Because this is a one inch square and these are half inch strips. That's all they are. I know you have these in your scraps, but I will tell you something that you're going to probably find hard to believe, but here's just how it is. I don't have enough scraps to do this with. We have scrap busted so much. We've got solid colors. I've got plenty of solid colors, but I don't have a lot of this. Okay. So I, we got this paper pack in today. Look how much we've cut it up already. We've been playing. We got this in today. So you need to buy it and make a quilt with it because it's pretty. Oh, it's so cute. And this one is called Homemade, okay? And we got it in the 6x6 and the 12x12. In the after show, we'll open the 12x12. But how perfect is this for quilting, right? And since Shannon and I literally, I should show you the scraps we came up with and they didn't look good because I couldn't find any matching, I couldn't find any color family scraps. I didn't have enough scraps that had pattern. So we went to a, a whole pack, all right? So that's the one I'm gonna use tonight. And I will tell you something, quilt cards would be an awesome way to do an as many as with your six by six. It would be awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah. You could literally cut up every single bit of this paper pack and make a quilt make quilt cards out of it and everything would match because it's a six by six all right check this out we're going to glue this down now what we're going to do i'm not going to find the center tonight we're going to just assume all right eyeball. we're going to just assume eyeball we're going to assume we're in the right spot so we're just going to go just like this okay all right so i just kind of got that in the middle this is why i did four and a half by four and a half to give me half an inch extra room on either side now what you do is this, or this is what, what I'm going to do. It may not be right. Penny can correct me if I'm wrong. And this is very different because we don't have a seam allowance. So we do have that going <laughs> for us. All right. This is how easy this is. I saw this lady on YouTube do this and I did not get her information. I will get it and put it in the description because I don't like to not give credit. I forgot to do that before the show and I meant to, but I will do that. All right. Here's what you do. You take one of your, co your color families. This is what matters. Okay. Take one of your color families, line it up at the bottom, and make a pencil mark. I make a pencil mark because I don't want to have to keep my finger there. The lady I watched laid it down like this, put her finger there, and bent it up. And then she cut it off where it bent. But I made a pencil mark, and I'm going to do this. Snip. Okay? Keep this color family together. Keep that color family over there. Now I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to add a little glue. And I'm going to put it right underneath. Okay, so I just glued that one down. Now we're going to turn it, okay? Stay in that color family. Matter of fact, on this one, I'm going to use the same pattern. Didn't we decide to do that this uh -huh. time? I'm going to use the same pattern. I'll show you one where I didn't. I have one to show you in a minute. But I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to make a pencil mark. You could use your trimmer if you don't think you cut very straight. This is not enough to really stress about it. Plus, remember, the embossing folder 
is like shoulder pads. It hides a multitude of sins. Y'all know what I mean by shoulder pads. Big hair and shoulder pads. Makes your hips smaller. Okay, so you have one colorway going here, right? Now we're going to turn it and go to our other color family. The idea behind the log cabin is that you have part part of the color over here and part of the color over here. Honestly, I think that um, log cabin is the way you lay it out. That's what I, because it's like you're laying logs out. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what it is. So I'm going to do a pencil mark here. And the cool thing is we're not measuring anything. Oh, I need to cut it first. We're not measuring anything. And I love that. Yeah, well, you're one inch you're square. Kind of measuring. Yeah. You measure one inch square. That's it. And you measure the half inch pieces, but they're just half inch. Yeah, you had to do that. That's it. But there's look how no, cool this is. There's no persnickety little cutting. Now here again, we did two in one color. We're going to do two in the same color here. And see how it just kind of grows? We're just building a log cabin. Now, I'm going to say something. Very interesting. Once you make this, you could get all the measures. You could just go measure, 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 measure. I don't want to do that. Too much. I don't want to measure all these little pieces. Because as soon as I do and I cut them, they're not going to be right anyway. And then they're going to stick to your sleeve and you're going to knock one And you're going to knock on find them and yada, yada. Turn it. <laughs> now, here's the trick with a log cabin. You have to keep your color families together. Correct me if I'm wrong, Penny. Okay. Keep your color families together. So, I have chosen to put my darkest color as my last color. So, I'm going to go to this next one and it's going to go next. And when you go down here, see how I'm going all the way across? That's what you do every time. Also, that piece you're using underneath could be a scrap because it's not going to show when we're done. So. I love this paper pack. I do too. I really do too. Aren't you glad I insisted on getting it? it we weren't going to get it. And Vinny's like, it's cute. And I'm like, okay. I'm and glad he was you right. insisted. Sometimes he's right. More often than not with paper, it seems lately. Because I've argued several and then they show up and I'm in love. Wait do y'all see. Pa stuff came in, guys. So if you're watching and want to see the after show, we got product in. Thank goodness. We hadn't had any new stuff in a while. And one paper pack came in. Oh, my goodness. So this cute. This one came in? No, but this one in particular. <gasps> We've done that a lot on these quilts, haven't we? Yeah. Dropped it. We talked about that the other day when we were. <laughs> Just throw it down. That's we were. I, I think you were filming and you dropped yep. it. And you, like, said, okay, now you drop it. And I'm like, no, you don't yep. drop it. Now you drop it. <laughs> Just what you have to do. All right. Oh, I'm correct. Penny said I'm correct. But I'm not, but it's paper. I can do paper. All right. So keep going. And you do this until your square is large enough. For me, I want to go four inches. So I'll use pretty, I'll use a lot of this paper. Notice here too, I'm using the same paper. I just flipped it over because I like this other side. Actually, Shannon loves this side. This is the one she wanted. She wanted the florals. Look how cute okay. this is. Y'all just wait though, because the reveal for me is after the um, embossing. That's my favorite. That is my favorite. Mente is on its way. Somebody said they needed some 12 by 12 Mente. It is on the way. The new releases are on the way. I'm excited. All right. This one. There we go. This is my dark one. And see how I'm still in my coral color family over here, keeping my green color family over there. Now I'm going to make a mark here. And this is going to finish out this side. Ooh, we got quiet. We have 520 people watching. 536 watching now. And 169 <gasps> thumbs up. So sure. we're way yep. off. They are not liking what you're doing. They don't. I know. It's so sad. I got to get another piece because mine was short. So you might need, on your last one, you might need two strips if you're using six by six. If you're using 12 by 12, you'll be fine. Mine was a lit, just like half an inch short, but that's okay because I have plenty of this paper. Plenty. That means I want to do it with the other one too, but I already have extras cut. I cut... You could just cut a whole piece and just go as far as you can, especially if you're going to do an as many as. I honestly would not do an as many. You will be making those cards for days. 
You will, because you day. you'll have to make hundreds. They'll, it'll make so many. Yeah. It will make so many. All right, this is the last one, and we're sticking to our color family, our green. And I am going to have to pull out another strip. That's okay. Got one right here. Got one right here. Not a bad idea, Karen. She just sorted scrap strips today. Now she knows what she's going to do with them. I think sorting them is the way to go. We did not sort because um, we just dug through the bin. But I think if we sorted, we might have found more scraps, but we were kind of in a hurry. Well, you're up to 270 likes. Ooh, big so jump. a few more people liked it. So you think they like it a little bit. 564 watching, 275 likes. Just wait till I emboss this, then you'll get some thumbs up. They you might think like, they'll it. like it then? I'm telling y'all, the embossing changes everything. Just watch. It might. After we emboss it, those thumbs up are going to fly. You'll feel the breeze. Okay, I'm happy with this one. I was not happy with my first one. I'll show it to you. <laughs> But I'm happy with this, and I love how it looks. Let's emboss it. I'm using, oh, no, 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 The Lone no, no. Star Lady says, you should see how the subtitles butcher your words. Oh, I'm sure. She said, embossing turned out to be Boston. <laughs> okay. Okay, Boston. All right, what I'm doing here is cutting off that white edge. Now, this laid out pretty good. I probably could have used that, but I don't want to put white when I put it on the card. I want to put a different color. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this out. I would suggest the paper you use on the back is junk. Don't use your good stuff on the back. And I used, y'all know that um, speckle paper that you get sometimes in the combo packs and stuff. I don't ever really use it much. You know what I'm talking about? The one that has the yep. colors in it. That's the one I like to use for scrap. So it's a perfect place for that because I'm not really big into that speckle. Look how cute. Look at our little baby quilt. Also, here's another thing. Do I remember how we did the video and we made all of the like boxes and stored them flat so we could fold them up later when we needed them? I say when you're bored, just make a bunch of little quilts. Just make a bunch of these little quilts and put them away for when you need a card. You don't have to make the whole card and don't feel guilty about that. Crafting is the fun of it, okay? Don't feel like if you make 10 little quilts, you got to turn them into cards right away. You don't. All right, get ready because it looks good now, but wait till it's done. We going to boss it. Gonna we gonna it. boss it. This is how. You, this is this is the long arm quilting part. That's why I call it. We're gonna send it to the long arm quilter. <laughs> Penny, I can long arm quilt. It's a long arm <laughs> squeezer. My arms have to reach all the way over his long arm. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I just long armed it. Hey Penny, does yours oh, go Max. in five seconds? Max. Oh, can you do a whole quilt that quick? My machine is quick. Well, Look, done, you guys, it's so cute when you emboss it. I don't know that camera does it any justice. Look how cute it is. I, I got to see the camera. That's what I'm trying to do. It's so pretty. Isn't it cool how the quilting changes it? I'll show you the back so you can see the 3D. I'm telling you, the long arm is so good here because we have really, now I don't do them for people. Penny will take your quilts in and long arm, long arm them for you. I don't long arm. I do my own quilts, okay? All right, look, this is what a log cabin's supposed to look like. Now look, if you don't want it to like this, play around. Some of you are going to like this one better. Everyone likes something different, okay? I prefer this one because it feels more log cabin-y, but this is a really cute way to use up scraps too. Why not? right? This almost looks like a maze. Uh -huh. um, but I love this. I think the, the little log cabin is super cute. Super cute. Now, I did not make this into a card, but I'm going to tell you why. I didn't make a sample card for you tonight. We've made so many of them. <laughs> and I've shown you how to do them already. If you haven't seen the videos, I'll bring one out and show you. I'll lay it side by side. Here's a good example. So this little one here, is you can see here it's a four by four quilt that we matted okay and then we put it on a card base and i put a little border underneath it just to give it a little something something now one thing i will show you that i thought was really cool if i have a card base here i don't well i'll flip this card over here's something i thought was cute so if you want to do some portrait yeah no landscape if you want to do some landscape cards have your cards open like this Mount it like this. I saw this done today, and I thought that looked really good, too. So instead of mounting it to the top, like we were doing, you can mount it in the middle. Also, I had somebody say, don't these cards cost more to mail? They do if you make them square, but you can make them square. Because here's what you can do. You don't have to mail every card. 
Some cards are gift cards and some cards are note cards and some cards are things that you add to a gift bag or maybe you just want to put a card on a coworker's desk or, you know, something like that. You can still make a little four, it'd be four and a quarter by four and a quarter with this size, but you can make this into smaller cards and that's fine. Just know if you make a square card, it costs more to mail. All right. Any questions? I do not hand quilt unless you count me taking the fabric in my hand and putting it under the needle of the machine. Does that count? <laughs> because I think it counts. It is my hand holding the fabric. <laughs> I have never, um, since I started quilting, and, I, and I'm still very, very green, very, very green, I have not stitched with a needle. Matter of fact, don't know if I have a needle. Wow, and see, all I have are needles. I don't, I know that I have I mean, a needle. I have a sewing machine, but I don't know how to use it. I will teach you. I can tell you where you can I learn. I hand sew, though. I'll tell you where you can learn. So a place these people, so charming. let me tell you about them though, what they're doing, which I think is so brilliant. They, so charming, our local quilt shop is starting a quilt class, which I signed up for, by the way. Oh, I, just I advertised How for nice. that quilt class. That yes. quilt class is multiple weeks. It is 150 bucks. What? Are you kidding? Listen what you get, okay? You get the um, jelly roll that you'll be using. You get, I think you have to have a yard of fabric for this one too. The class take place. It'll be Thursday afternoons starting February 9th. How do I know their stuff better than my own? Okay, because usually I have to have notes. We don't um, even know what time we come to work. We don't. February 9th at 4.30 in the afternoon, and they'll quilt for two hours at a time. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. The first one, I don't know if I'm going to get to stay for the whole thing because we have a meeting that night, but I might mm -hmm. be able to. Yeah, we have that customer service class that night. we got to learn how to treat people. Um, how to treat people more better. No. Okay. Um we're actually holding a class <laughs> anyway so I won't be able to stay for the whole one but she told me that I could come in and have special treatment now that's what I heard I what she actually said is we can get you started early but I heard you can come in and have special treatment I've given her did you see what head. Bobby said nope. Bobby Bobby said she's having Torchy's talking <gasps> in that is two weeks in a row somebody has rubbed in Torchy's to you I know so, so if you sorry. guys would like to quilt and can get to Clayton, Alabama, you need to bring your sewing machine with you because you'll be using your own sewing machine. And now the space is, actually, let me say this, Penny, is there space left? Because space is limited. Um, anyway, I'll be doing it and you can come learn to quilt with me. I've kind of been playing at home, but actually I have, again, I go to my local quilt shop and go, what did I do wrong? I'll take what I sewed and show it to them and they'll tell me what I did wrong. So. Is sewed the right word? Sewed sewn sewed what i sewed wrong i don't know i think so somebody said how do we pick i'm gonna tell you something about picking paper when and i think shannon would agree with this too i think we have a good eye for color however i don't do as well picking paper in the raw as i do picking it from a pack i I, I would say if you have issues picking paper you probably would want to start with a pack of coordinating colors first and play with that for a while because you get a That's lot a of cards idea. out of a coordinating pack and then work from there. I don't do as well and I never have. This is a thing for me. I'll look on like Pinterest or Google or whatever and see all these wonderfully um, coordinated papers, especially in the quilting situation, especially when you're picking so many papers work together. Today we did it. We went through and we found enough scraps to make it work and in two color families, but they didn't look as good as when we said, wait a minute, we got that new six by six pad. And I was, and Shannon hadn't seen it yet. When she saw it, she's like, oh my goodness, because all the green, y'all know. It's just beautiful. But it's so much easier. And another reason it's so much easier is because, for example, this plaid piece right here is flipped over and is this piece right here. So you also get more out of it because if you're using, say you're bringing in um, a pattern from one paper pack and then a pattern from another paper pack, two sides might match, but four sides won't. You know what I'm saying? And on this, four sides will. You're in Boston Machine. It's the Gemini Junior? I'm using the Gemini Junior. Um, you don't have to. You don't have to. We um, do sell it in our store. We have it in our store. But you can use any embossing machine. And I had some people say to me, what if I don't have an embossing machine? Let me let me show you something you can do, okay? I don't have a quilt to show you this. I don't think. Do we have a quilt assembled somewhere? Just a little quilt? Oh, and I need your, let me use your, well, your um, cutting board. Cutting board. It's called a cutting board, y'all. Not a trimmer. It's a cutting board. A cutting. I might can do it on one of these. No, this one's been embossed already. 
That's okay. I'll try. To, I'll just show them on one of these. But I'll use. Okay. So you can do two things. Okay. Here's what I would do. I would take this little guy. I wish I had one that hadn't been. How do I not? I mean, because we made them all into cards. Um. What about the ugly one? Didn't we? From a few minutes ago. Did you throw it away? I didn't glue it. Oh. We didn't like it. I didn't glue it. Okay. Hey, so. Here's what you can do if you don't have an embossing folder. Just get out your scoreboard, okay, and do your own embossing. Oh, this may work. Do your own embossing. You know, make a pattern. Oh, this is not working because it's already embossed. But you can kind of see that little line coming through. I'm just going to do it on white. Imagine there's a quilt on the other side. Do your own pattern. Something like this. Think of it like this. With your sewing machine, this is exactly what you do. Now, you would, you could also meander on your sewing machine. But when I quilt at home, I don't meander. I don't do it well. Penny has a great eye for it. I do not. She does. But what I like to do is just do this kind of thing, right? Where you do one side like this and then flip it over and do another side. Matter of fact, I made a bag for Shannon, and this is how I quilted it. And I made a casserole dish container for me, and this is how I quilted it. It was just... Um, with my sewing machine like this, right? And then when you turn it over, you get this. You'll have to press a little harder, all right? But then the other thing you can do is come right here. This is why I have this line. A lot of people ask me, why do you have this line? This is why. If I have that line, I can see where my diagonals are going. Does that make sense? I can see my corners. So I can come like this, and I can even... Um, oh, this is going to be cool. Oh, look at that. Now I'm just lining up score lines. Oh, I'm going to like this. I think I am. So you can just do this number, okay? And the more you do, the more it'll be like an embossing folder and the more um, the more pattern you'll have on the other side. So, so don't feel like you can't do it. You also, if you don't have a scoring board, you can use the back of a butter knife and a mouse pad. You can use um, a folded up wash towel. You have something for it to go through. You know what I'm saying? I got offline and now I'm sad, but we'll turn around and look. So see, look, we kinda, we're kind of quilting it. And it will work. You just need to press on that paper. You know, press pretty hard. Okay. Now some people, I want to say this because I think some people were having a discussion about this because Tamitha mentioned it to me. Some people say they use their embossing folders and a rolling pin. I have never been able to make that work. Other people for years have. I have never, I tried, um, back in the day when, I remember this distinctly, when we were in my first, my second craft room, the one at the new, at, it's not the new house, but you know what I mean, the one downstairs, your hunting room now, when I used, I remember being down there, and it was the talk of the town that you could use a rolling pin and a balsam folder, and I'm like, what, that's really cool, let me try that, and people asked me to, I could not make it work, I don't have the pressure, I don't guess, um, I'll tell you what we did do. We put it in an embossing folder and rolled over it with a tire. That worked. But <laughs> with a car. But Roll I could over. not. Um, I could not make it. That's now, I know some people do. But I'll promise you this. You'll struggle with the quilt because I want you to remember it's multiple layers. It won't work as well with the multiple layers through a rolling pin. I wish it would. It won't. But. You're going to hear me talk about that in our Monday night series, how it's one of those, an embossing tool is something, if you can afford it, you should, you should add it. Here's another thing you can do, okay? You can use your, like your Shannon, I'm going to call this the Shannon board. <laughs> I'm sure Dress My Craft will love that we're calling it the Shannon board. <laughs> um, you can use this one, but be careful because this is a really, really skinny, let me show you. This is a, um, this is a really what is all over this thing? What Just have we done? Paper. It's paper. The paper, yeah, from running back and forth. Yuck, y'all. Okay, it's a little thin piece of metal right there, and you could cut through. So be really, really careful with that. All right, any questions? It's almost time to go to the after show. I enjoyed that one. I thought that one was fun. My mate, your watch band is beautiful. Love it. Um, thank you. It is it is not what you think it is. I actually <laughs> I wanna be honest with y'all. I thought I was ordering a brown band <laughs> with I guess I saw this and just thought it was a pattern and it came look, it's pretty. And Joe wanted one, so I got him one and I'll be honest, it's it's just not good. And it's it does not stay in place. It's a fooey. It's a it and it's pitiful. But um thank you very much. It doesn't stay in place. I don't recommend it. 10 out of 10 do not recommend. Seriously. Not good. <laughs> it rolls around. I told Shannon, <laughs> can I tell something funny? Y'all will love this. Y'all will love this. And then we'll go to the after show. 
Um, we had the newspaper in taking photos for a, um, I don't know when the progress comes out, but we're, there's an article in the progress we're going to be a part of. And, um, they were taking photos and they were wanting photos of me at my work surface. And I wouldn't let them take them from around cause it looks so bad in here. I was like, you can go right here. Right. Well, I had forgotten my watch at home that day and I have a, like everybody does have a suntan mark. And I'm like, if I don't put on a watch, I'm going to have this in those pictures and it's all I'm going to be able to see. So I borrowed Shannon's watch <laughs> and I put it on, but it's so much smaller than my wrist. I have huge wrists. I put it on. Y'all, my wrist was so tight. When we finished taking those pictures, I said, Shannon, get this off. I can't breathe. It was literally so tight on my wrist, but I won't have a suntan mark in the camera. <laughs> So if y'all see those pictures, you'll be like, that's Shannon's watch. It's not Maymay's watch. I could not breathe. I literally, like, it's cutting off my airway, Shannon. <laughs> Too funny. So now you're headed to the after show? Yes, we're going to the after show. If the link you, is there. The after show, we have a lot to do in the after show, y'all. We need to get started. We're going we're gonna to run through it. Y'all need to know that. We're going to run through it. So head on over. The link is in the chat, and we will see you there in just a few minutes. Thanks for being here. Don't forget.